welcome to High Five Sports. This week we have some good inner district rivalry games for you, both from the gridiron and on the Pinewood. So let's get this started. With you today, I'm Thomas Nowers. And I'm Dalt Martin. In football news, Chisholm Trail took on the undefeated Rough Riders. The Rangers are looking to Ian Sagnall's Cinderella story with a huge upset win. But the Rough Riders have other plans. They come to this game 5-0 and are seeking another win to the column. They hope their powerhouse defense can keep up the smash mouth football they've been playing. So let's see how they did in this week's rivalry game of the week. Saginaw comes in 5-0 and and off their bye week. Looking to stay undefeated, Don Wanchell places a nice 40-yard touchdown pass to Austin Wright, which unfortunately did not count due to a holding call. Obviously, Coach isn't happy. Chisholm would use the momentum and tattoos Jason Armina. Some tells me that hurts. Returning the favor, Saginaw's Julian Perez shows why Saginaw has only given up three touchdowns with a slam for a loss. Chisholm's passing game has been good, with Brad Pippey spinning off a tackle showing why they are leading in yards. They have also had really good field position with nice returns. Out of focus cameras and big runs, as Russell Murphy, BOOM, commits high speed murder and dives in the end zone for six. I'm positive that's against the law. Continuing the passing, Chisholm racks up more yards trying to get back into the game. But in the end, they won't, giving Saginaw the win and remains undefeated on the year. We caught up with Russell Murphy after the game. Okay, first of all, how does it feel about being 6-0? Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty great uh, after everything that we worked for and all the trials and tribulations that my team went through. I'm just glad we got it. I'm glad we got the win today. That's good. Uh, what do you see Saginaw in the future? We should be in the We're going to be in the playoffs. How the playoffs go, it's going to be all dependent on us and how great we do in the playoffs. Okay, thank you. Hey, thank you. To the Pinewood. You can say court. They don't need to know the type of floor they play on. Well, never mind. Going to the court. Saginaw Volleyball faced Chisholm Trail earlier that day. Surprising many, the Lady Rangers have had a decent season and look to get a big win in the enemy atmosphere. Saginaw, on the other hand, look to increase their rank in the district by playing some good, smart volleyball. Let's see how it went in our highlights of the game. Chisholm Trail took on Saginaw Friday evening on the volleyball court. Saginaw came out firing early, winning the first set as Kennedy Null slammed home the shot off the Chisholm player. Saginaw continues their winning ways, taking the second set as well as Donna Hanners places the ball between the defenders. However, the Rangers weren't giving up and took the third with a great play from number 11. In the fourth set, the Chisholm player hits the ball, it hits the net, and falls down for the kill. Chisholm also took the fourth set. But Saginaw came back in the fifth set to win the match. We caught up with Nubia Hawthorne after the game. It feels really good to win against Chisholm Trail. We had our ups and downs, but we could do better, and we're going to win every other game after this. We're taking it all the way to state. Moving back to the gridiron, the Pioneer football team traveled to Hanley Stadium to face Carter Riverside. Boswell is coming off a good game against Dunbar and hope to come out firing like they did last week. They come into the game 3-2 and two and hope to jump up in the district standings with a, this win. With each game meaning a lot more every week, they hope to get a good win. Let's check out the highlights. Boswell comes in 3-2, and two, needing to catch up in the standings are looking for a really big win. Number 4 literally jogs into the end zone starting the scoring for Boswell. There's some spirit. Up 21 to 0, Boswell's number 25 racks up some big yards and breaks some ankles as he takes it 67 yards for 6 with some amazing blocking from their line. And hard blocking earned you water. With Carter Riverside knocking on the door, number 36 crushes their dreams with a pick in the end zone for a touchdown. No touchdown for them. Number 4 again follows his blockers and walks into the end zone, literally. I am not joking. Boswell takes the game easily, advancing to 4 and 2, heading into the game next week. Looking forward to next week's game, Saginaw faces Birdville on the 18th. Boswell's homecoming game against Northside on the 19th. Saginaw Volleyball versus Birdville on the 18th. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Dalton Martin. And I'm Thomas Nowers. See you next week on High Five Sports.